If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Who are you guys? What do you mean by you guys? I hope you're not collectivizing me with free status. Without people out there kind of pushing the envelope, the envelope has a way of being a little bit closer to you, and you find that you're pushing the envelope just by doing something very polite. Right, I'm going to tell him that I've been talking to the camera. It's a documentary. Now, notice on, who's uh, behind you. On a notice, no trespass orders. Yeah, there's a uh, prison. Uh, Fuck him. It's a her. <laughs> Fuck her. If JP's not hurting anyone, if other anti-government type folks in various parts of New Hampshire are doing things that are that are eyebrow raising but not hurting anyone it's probably mostly a good thing if we had, imagine we ask yourself would okay, if there were 50 JP Phillips running around New Hampshire bothering the police in some form or fashion would that really be a worse New Hampshire than the one we currently live in Probably not. It would mainstream the idea of, of, of doing what he does, and it would turn what I do into almost establishment activity. And you, too. Uh, these 50 JPs would serve as sort of canaries in the coal mine. They would push the front line further away from where you are. Um, and they are uh, puffing out their chest, apparently. So, while I'm ready to condemn any actual act of aggression or theft that JP initiates, if he were to do so. I'm just slow to anger when it comes to his good cop, bad cop behavior. He's going out and he's being bad cop. That lets me be good cop. And you too. I didn't really mean for this to be a video primarily about JP. It really was supposed to be more about people like JP, of whom there are many, uh... Mike Gannon would be a good example. Ferocious, fiery local who really likes some of the Liberty Activist stuff. But, man, if you're around him <laughs> when, he's, when he's in a conflict, boy, he just sounds like he really wants to ramp up whatever verbal conflict he's in with, with the authorities. <laughs> it's, not, it's not what I would do. Yes, it does make me look bad if he's standing right next to me and one of my supporters. But... You know, again, especially if there's some distance between you and the the wild-eyed person raising his voice and th spewing profanity or whatever, there's only so much harm they can do you. And if there were more of them, the government would be more cautious. 2,000 liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying, actually... United we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com